So let's thread some things together um, as, we, as we start the beginning of March around how white settler logic is using what I would call a propaganda campaign to embed itself in various populations throughout the U.S. So my name is Dr. Nicole Truesdale and I'm an anthropologist and abolitionist scholar and teacher. So we're in this interesting crossroads of time right now, and we're going to take the U.S. as the example here of uh, and what the state is doing, because right now we are in a moment in which the state is asking us to really go back in time by trying to bring us back to a more rigid reading of the Constitution via the Supreme Court um, rolling back a lot of civil rights that were afforded to us, particularly after the 1960s, while at the same time, society is also asking us to jump forward in time with this kind of push for AI. So the chat GPTs and all of this kind of um, um, kind of public rhetoric around what we should be expecting to be implementing into our everyday life. We're at this interesting crossroads in which we're literally being asked to go back in time while also going forward in time, but never being present. Because in the present moment, what we're also being shown is the ways that white settler logic is as trying to embed itself in these kind of time periods, whether it be the past or the present or the future as we're at this crossroad trying to figure out where we're going to go as a society. So what do I mean by that? Let's think about two main things that are happening right now. We're seeing the why, the rise of white, um, white male aggression, or what Carol Anderson calls white rage, being shown to us in both this kind of, um, the, the example being the Dilbert creator who went on that ridiculous racist tirade for no real reason, but it really is a testing to see how much of that rhetoric can be allowed in the public, while at the same time we're seeing folks like Ron DeSantis using places like Florida as testing grounds to see exactly how much he can be blatantly authoritarian and get away with it. That is going on while we're also seeing the rise of these kind of rhetorics of the gender binary coming through in a lot of non-white populations. At the same time, we're seeing also medical industry and using this kind of him and hers campaign to reinforce a gender binary. Now, why does that matter? Well, when you reinforce gender binaries, that's another way that white settler logic maintains itself in non-white populations when the construction and ideology of whiteness does not afford those who don't occupy a white body the access to it. So then how do you get folks to buy into a system that is not for them? You get them to somehow see parts of it as somehow speaking to them. And one way they're doing it right now is through blatant homophobia and transphobia through the reinforcement of gender binaries. So white male rage along with gender binaryism is having us at this crossroads of where we're going to go as a society.